In the last quarterfinals matchup, we have the other 8-2 deck and now the highest remaining seed, Dark Magician, taking on the 11th seed, Apophis, Yugi versus Odeon with everything on the line, who will move on to the semifinals and who will go home. Let's do it. Dark Magician as the highest seed, the higher seed, will open up with Dark Magical Circle revealing three cards from the top of the deck. He gets to add a Dark Magician from among them. We'll now activate Preparation of Rights to add Illusion of Chaos from deck to hand. That is a great card for the deck to now search out any of the non-ritual monsters that mention Dark Magician that he needs. We'll activate that. Add Magician's Rod from deck to hand and place back a card on the top of the deck. Magician Rod Normal Summon will activate to add Magician Salvation from deck to hand. Magician Salvation will activate to set an Eternal Soul from deck to the field. So if he's got Dark Magician in hand, he will be able to trigger Eternal Soul right away, which will then trigger Dark Magical Circle, which is huge against Odeon's deck since he requires having to set spell and traps to get anything done. Set another card and end. So good opening for Dark Magician. Let's see what Apophis has. Pot of Prosperity, Vanishing, six extra deck monsters face down to look at the top six cards of the deck, see which one he picks. We'll add Hand of Apophis and put the rest at the bottom. The Hand of Apophis will come in handy if Dark Magician tries to use Illusion of Chaos again. Set one, set two, set three, and end, and yes, Dark Magician will activate Eternal Soul. Special Summon, Dark Magician. Dark Magical Circle will now activate. He's going to roll a dice and will banish. Statue of Anguish Pattern. That would have been huge because if he could have gotten that on board, he could have then summoned another Trap Monster and popped the Eternal Soul. So some good luck there, but maybe... Opopus has something else up its sleeve with those other two set cards. Turn passes, Dark Magician draws, and in the standby phase, Opopus will activate Hidden Traps of Anubis, will set Sword of Opopus from deck to hand. It can be activated this turn. Dark Magician will try to activate Eternal Soul. And Opopus will respond by activating Sword of Opopus. And that'll be negated by Solemn Warning, has all the answers. Eternal Soul will add Dark Magic Attack. Dark Magic Attack activates, destroys the last remaining spell or trap on board, which is the Pope is the Swamp Deity. Going into the battle phase, Magician's Rod and Dark Magician deal 4100. And ends the turn. Alright, so he didn't activate that Illusion of Chaos because he knows the opponent has the Hand of Apophis in the hand. Didn't want to try and draw that out and deal with the hand on board, so he goes ahead and takes the 4100, passes to Apophis. Apophis sets one that is not looking too hot. Well, maybe it is! In the draw phase, he activates Spirit of Apophis to special summon itself as a monster and then set a Apophis trap from the grave. That'll be Sword and it can be activated this turn. We'll then go ahead and not activate Sword just yet. We're in standby and main one will activate Illusion of Chaos. And Apophis will of course respond with Hand of Apophis, discard the sword in hand and special summon the Hand of Apophis to negate and destroy Illusion of Chaos. And after that resolves, Apophis will summon Sword of Apophis as a monster and will destroy a card on each side of the field. We'll destroy the hand and we'll destroy the Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul will take down the other two monsters that are on the board and Hand of Apophis having been destroyed will discard a card from the opponent's hand. But Dark Magician will chain Soul Servant to place Magician's Soul on top. Let's see what gets discarded now. It'll be Illusion of Chaos. So he must have drawn a second copy, which is why he tried using it, despite the Hand of Apophis being there. Eternal Soul, of course, wipes off the field. 
But he's got Soul Servant in the grave, so he can banish it if he chooses to draw that Magician Souls that he just placed on top. This will be enough to get things going back for Dark Magician. Uses Magician Souls to send Dark Magician Girl from deck to grave. We'll pitch the Magician Souls to special summon the Dark Magician that is in the grave, and Dark Magical Circles effect will activate. As well as Magician Salvation, Magician Salvation will special summon the Dark Magician Girl, and Dark Magical Circle will banish the Spirit of Apopis. Dark Magician Girl in the battle phase will attack the Sword of Apopis. The Sword of Apopis, when destroyed, will destroy a card on the field. Will opt to destroy the Dark Magician. So saving itself some battle damage, but it does give Dark Magician the option if it has the card available in hand to bring back Dark Magician on its turn for some Dark Magic Circle shenanigans. Sets one, is it Eternal Soul? If it is, that could be disastrous for Apopis having sent the Dark Magician back to grave. Apopis draws, got two cards in hand, staring down a decent board on Dark Magician's part. Will end the turn without making moves. Does Dark Magician have draws? Go straight to battle phase, so it doesn't look like he has the ability to get another monster on board to go for game, but Dark Magician Girl will deal 2300, so it was good that he saved himself the damage having popped the Dark Magician, buys himself one last turn, but it is down to his last 1600 life points. Dark Magician sets the card he just drew, got two face down back row now, and Apopis is down to its final draw. What does it got? Shuffles hand, shuffles hand, sets three. If he's trying to increase his odds in case the opponent can banish one of them with Dark Magic Circle, and he did. He did top deck the Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul will bring back Dark Magician. Dark Magical Circle will activate and banish by die roll and see if the fortune is there. It's another six. Lucky six, it'll banish. Trap trick. Was that the one that Apopis needed, or does he have something else down there that can help him in this spot? Dark Magician goes to battle phase, will try to end the game right here with an attack by Dark Magician, and he does. The trap trick was the card he needed. Dark Magician is able to pick it out and go for game. Dark Magician gets game one, we're moving on to game two. So Popus will open up this duel, will set one, set two, and end. We'll activate Hidden Traps of Anubis right off the bat in the draw phase. Set Chaos of Apopis from deck to grave. It can be activated this turn. The intention of probably trying to block off some Magician Souls plays. But Dark Magician has Lightning Storm. Destroy both back row, Chaos of Apopis and Sword of Apopis. Now he's got Illusion of Chaos, but that'll be negated by an Ash Blossom. Doesn't have any other moves, all right. So he's able to get clear the opponent's board, but with that Illusion of Chaos being blocked by Ash Blossom, he's got no more follow-ups. Good choice to Ash Blossom. It Apopis draws, just got three cards, but can he make them count? Sets one, sets two, sets three. Hopefully he doesn't get Lightning Stormed again or evenly matched. Dark Magician's got six cards. What can he do? We know he has the Illusion of Chaos. Go ahead and activate that. Add Magician's Rod from deck to hand and place a card on top of the deck. Magician's Rod summons will add Dark Magical Circle. Dark Magical Circle will activate. Probably, no, not yet. Apopis will first activate Spirit of Apopis. Summons itself as a monster and sets an Apopis trap that is in the grave. Will set that sword that was in the grave. So now he has an answer to the Dark Magical Circle. Dark Magician will try to activate it anyways, and it will be met by Sword of Apopis, which will summon itself as a monster, pop the spirit, and the Dark Magical Circle. Since the sword popped the spirit, and the spirit is destroyed as a monster, it gets a search or a set from the deck, but that is blocked by Ash Blossom. All right, so spirit, when it is destroyed, can take an Apopis trap, set it from the deck, or add it to the hand, so Ash Blossom is able to negate it. 
Uh, he's got Magician Souls. So he doesn't have the Dark Magical Circle to pair with, but Dark Magician will send Dark Magician Girl to the grave. That'll be met with Chaos of Apopis. Chaos of Apopis will summon itself and banish a monster from the graveyard. It will banish the Dark Magician Girl. Interesting that he chose to use the Dark Magician Girl instead of sending the Dark Magician. But there we go. Maybe he knew. Turn will end right here. Doesn't have any way to get over those 1800 defense monsters on board. But does Apopis have anything? Can't just ram into it because either of those monsters will cause it to lose field presence. We'll activate hidden traps of Anubis to set the Chaos of Apopis and turn. So now he's got another Chaos of Apopis to be able to use in case Dark Magician has another Magician's Souls. Illusion of Chaos activates as Magician's Rod places a card from the and to the top of the deck, Magician's Rod's normal summon will add Dark Magical Circle. Will this one go through? Activates Dark Magical Circle. And no, he's got another Sword of Apopis. Will summon it, destroy. He has to destroy his back row since he can't destroy another copy of Sword of Apopis with it. And destroy Dark Magical Circle, negating its effect. Dark Magician pitches Dark Magician to special summon Apprentice Illusion Magician, whose effect will activate to add another copy of Dark Magician from deck to hand. Apprentice Illusion Magician attacks, destroying the Sword of Apopis, who when destroyed will destroy a card on the field. It'll destroy the Apprentice Illusion. So you got two Magician's Rods on board and will pass turn. Apopis again finds itself down to its last few cards. Let's see if it can top deck out this time. It does have ability to clear out the field though but it will opt not to pass back to dark magician dark magician will activate illusion of chaos again add magician souls put a card back on the top of the deck magician souls activates will send another copy of dark magician from deck to grave magician souls will then summon that dark magician and eye of tamias activates will bring out Master of Chaos, who when Fusion Summoned and Eye of Tamias is Fusion Summoning it, can special summon a light or dark monster from the grave, will bring out Dark Magician. Oh no, it will be blocked by DD Crow, not what Dark Magician probably expected, hoping to build out that field presence, but Master of Chaos can still attack over the sword if it wants to, and it will. Sword of Apopis' effect will activate when it is destroyed. It will destroy the Master of Chaos. Those two Magicians, Rodzilla, are still on board, can deal 3,200, taking the first blood of game two. Apopis, down to two cards. What has it got? Nothing! Does the Dark Magician keep the Illusion of Chaos in the hand? If it did, yes it did. Oh man, Apopis, he has Hand of Apopis that he can now use, he must, yes, he drew a Sword of Apopis and decided not to set it, decided to keep the Hand of Apopis, thinking Dark Magician would try to use Illusion of Chaos, he did, walks right into a Hand of Apopis, a summon destroys the Illusion of Chaos, now the Magician's Ross can't get over that 1800 defense, what is the last card that he has in hand, it is a set Speller Trap, will set it and end find myself saying this again, can Apopis draw uh, himself out of this mess? That one, and can at least hide behind that 1800 defense. Dark Magician will go to end phase where Apopis will activate appointment with Anubis and that will be negated by Ash Blossom. So I thought he had top deck something, but that is blocked. Can he top deck something else? No, he draws and ends. Dark Magician draws, sets one Speller Trap and ends. All right, this time, Apopis will make some plays, activate the Blessings from Sir Ket to add Seal of Sir Ket from deck to hand. Try and get around any potential Royal Decree plays. No, it looks like he added the wrong thing. 
add Cup of Sealed Soul from deck to hand. So this will give his monsters a 500 attack and defense boost. So that'll be enough to get over those Magician's Rods. So Hand of Opopus is now 2100. Full attack. Destroy the Magician's Rod, dealing 500. So he's got some damage in there. But let's see if he can keep it going. Dark Magician draws. That's one. Keeps drawing those back roll. What could they be? He hasn't used any of them. And a top deck. Opopus tops X into Anubis, Lord of the Sacred Land, will banish. Chaos of Opopus. Two copies of it from the grave. And it'll get in that 500 attack and defense boost. Anubis, Lord of the Sacred Land, attacks over the Magician's Rod, dealing 1,900 there. And Hand of Opopus will deal 2,100 more. No, he will respond with Eternal Soul. But Anubis will chain its effect to banish Sword of Apopis from the grave to banish the Eternal Soul. No, not banish the Eternal Soul. Banish the Dark Magician. I guess he only had one more copy in the grave. So now two Dark Magicians and the Dark Magician girl have been banished. So Eternal Soul doesn't have anything to summon now. Hand of Apopis' attack goes through, dealing 2100. Main Phase 2 activates Temple of the Kings. So we've been through this before, but when Anubis, Lord of the Sacred Land, Temple of the Kings, and Chaos of Apopis are paired together, that is essentially one banish from the grave and one banish on the field or grave per turn, since Chaos of Apopis sets itself back every standby phase, and Temple of the Kings allows it to activate that same turn. Both those Chaos of Apopises will trigger, setting both of them to the board. Dark Magician Scoops. We are going to game three. This is turning out to be a really cool matchup. You wouldn't have thought that about Yugi versus Odeon, Dark Magician versus Apopis. I thought going into this Dark Magician with those Magical Circle Banishes and Dark Magic Attack would have this one in the bag, but here we go, game three. Magician Soul activates, sends Dark Magician from deck to grave and will special summon itself will activate its other effect to discard Magician's Navigation. That's huge. Draw a card. So Magician Navigation can negate or spell a trap on the board while he controls a Dark Magician. So that could come in handy. Normal Summon Magician's Rod. Activate its effect to add Dark Magical Circle. Dark Magical Circle will activate. Look at the top three cards of the deck. Add Dark Magic Attack from among them and place the other two back. Activate Magician Salvation. So now he's got the ability to bring out that Dark Magician at will with Eternal Soul, as well as a Magician Navigation to negate another spell or trap as he needs. So this is as strong of an opening as he could have imagined, as long as he doesn't get, you know, Lightning Storm evenly matched. Let's find out. <laughs> there it is. Apophis is going to battle phase. So... Dark Magician has to activate the Eternal Soul preemptively to special summon the Dark Magician. But it will be banished by DD Crow! Does he have another one in hand? No, no, that's not what he's doing. He's banishing the Magician Navigation. Interesting. And now he will go ahead and activate that evenly matched. So now Magician's Navigation isn't there to negate it. He will have to give up every card except one. Which one will he keep? He will keep the Dark Magical Circle. That is... The Dark Magician may have thought he had the right cards to block and protect its field, but it does not. Does Apopis have a follow-up here? No, he does not. Ends his turn. Maybe he has Hand of Apopis in hand, but otherwise that is interesting. You don't usually see them pass without setting anything. Dark Magician Normal Summons Magician's Rod adds... No, it will not add anything. Hand of Apopis will negate and destroy it. Discarding the Sword of Apopis. That is interesting. If Dark Magician has a Magician's Souls in hand, that could be disastrous. It does not. Sets one. Ends. Hand of Apopis. What do you got? Activates Temple of the Kings. Can now activate a trap the turn it was set. And... Not do just that, we'll move the Hand of Apopis into attack mode and go for 1600. First damage of the game three, 
and ends turn. So an interesting choice not to activate that set must be something that'll help disrupt on the opponent's turn. Dark Magician draws into Dark Magic Veil, pays a thousand life points to special summon a Dark Spellcaster monster from the hand for Grave. It'll be Dark Magician Girl from the hand. Step one, and we'll attack the hand of a Popus. So if he's able to destroy the hand of a Popus, doesn't have anything to discard. It will destroy, takes 400 damage, it doesn't have to discard anything. What is that set card if it wasn't anything to disrupt against? That's another ends and in the draw phase activates anti-spell fragrance so now both players have to set spell and traps before activating them and can't activate them until the next turn but yes cosmic cyclone already on board dark magician is able to get rid of the anti-spell fragrance but that is chained with apopis the swamp deity so there it is that disruption when it is summoned as a monster can negate cards on the field up to the number of other continuous traps and in this case that is anti-spell fragrance so that will negate the cosmic cyclone and now he's got a 2200 defense on board that dark magician girl can't attack over still got the normal summon of magician's rod that is blocked with ash blossom wow like both players have an answer to everything that they try against each other. Apopus sets one, turns Apopus the Swamp Deity into attack mode and will attack the Magician's Rod, dealing 400, putting Dark Magician at 4,000 life points halfway there. Apopus still has 7,600 passes, Dark Magician draws, goes straight to the battle phase, will try to attack and crash both monsters. Both monsters are in fact destroyed. Dark Magician sets one and ends. What does it got? What does Apopis got? Blessings from Sir Ket was set. Though he can't activate the card he just added, he has to set that too. That's two and activates Apopis the Swamp DD right away. And that is chained with Solemn Warning. So the one monster that he had is negated by Solemn Warning. Will reduce Dark Magician down to 2,000 life points, but it would have taken 2,000 anyways if he allowed Apopis the Swamp DD to come out in attack mode. Apopus passes, we know he has Seal of Sarket down. Does Dark Magician get what it needs? <laughs> what it needs right now is probably like an Illusion of Chaos or Magician's Souls. But no, instead he gets a Set Spell or Trap. Sets it. Ends. Doesn't even have a Dark Magician in Grave. All right, so Seal of Sarket will activate now. If Dark Magician has a Royal Decree, that won't do it any good. Set one, and is it a spell? Is it a trap? It's hard to tell with this deck. Mm -hmm. Activates Eternal Soul. Doesn't have a Dark Magician one. No, he doesn't. He just activated the Eternal Soul. Interesting. Set one. Temple of the Kings will allow him to activate it right away. Sort of a Popus comes out, will target and destroy the Temple of the Kings as well as that set card, the Dark Magic Attack. Sword of a Popus will deal 1600, putting him at 400. Dark Magician has 400 life points left against a Popus's 7600. Can he mount the comeback? Main phase two blessings from Saket graveyard ability activates banishing itself to add back the temple of the kings can't activate it though it doesn't even set it interesting all right a pope is pitches dark magician to special summon apprentice illusion magician. We'll search out a Dark Magician, so now he's got two copies in case that one of them gets banished again. The Eternal Soul will now activate Special Summon a Dark Magician. Dark Magical Circle will activate its ability to banish a card on the field. This could be just the comeback that it needed. Oh my god. Twin 
Twisters. Discard a card. That is why he didn't set that Temple of Kings back on the board because he needed the card to discard. Target two spell and traps will target the Eternal Soul and Dark Magical Circle. Eternal Soul is destroyed. It will send the Dark Magician and Apprentice Illusion to the grave. All he has left in hand is the Dark Magician. He doesn't have a Soul Servant in the graveyard. He doesn't have anything left to protect itself. Sword of Apopis will be able to go straight to battle phase and end the match right here. The 11 seat Apopis upsets Dark Magician. That means both the top two seeds have now gone down in the Cinderella stories of the 11th seed Apopis and 12th seed Jinzo both make it to the semi-finals. What a crazy match. This, like I said, this one turned out a lot better than expected and Apopis is able to despite losing game one, come back and finish off Dark Magician. So now our semifinals are set. The top remaining seed, number three, Toons, will take on number 12, Jinzo, in a matchup of Joey versus Pegasus. And number seven, Diabound, will take on number 11, Apopis, in a matchup of Bakura versus Odeon. These are both rematches from the Swiss rounds. So will the trend of revenge games continue? Stay tuned for these semifinals.